Good morning. Welcome to a windy Wembley. It's FA Cup final day. Who knows what the hours to come will bring, but one thing is certain. Manchester City or Wigan Athletic will be presented with the trophy. Between now and then and beyond, here on ESPN, we think we've got the day covered. Coming up, Daryl Currier's guests will review all today's newspapers. Then at 8.30, Kelly Cates and James Richardson have access to all areas. Absolutely spot on, Ray. What have we got coming up, Kelly? We've got three lovely guests. We've got Danny Mills, Gary Mabbitt and Kevin Coban who will be joining us. Indeed, and we're going to be roaming all over this magnificent stadium. It's all coming up at about 8.30. Yep, everywhere they let us and lots of places they won't. That takes us to 10 o'clock when Hers to the Dream will remind us about the greatest FA Cup final stories from down the years. Pardon the interruption, Ray, but I'm Steve Bauer and I'll be here with Bunsey at 10.30 once we've got him out of makeup for an FA Cup final PTI special. We're up to 11 o'clock. Four famous FA Cup winners will reminisce about the honour and the glory of winning the oldest cup competition in football. It's Pat Jennings, Mark Hughes, Frank Leverf and Tony Adams in the company of Rebecca Lowe. That takes us to midday when Craig Burley, Martin Keown and John Barnes will be talking tactics. Then it's an FA Cup final talk of the terrace and Joe Swash has captured a view of Wembley that very few people have ever been able to experience. From the top of the arch, the very top. And then it's the build-up to the match itself. The magic of the fans on Wembley Way. The team coaches arrive and the players pre-match walk out onto the pitch. We've been to Amman to visit the home of Wigan goalkeeper Ali Alhabzi. There's a rare interview with Manchester City's Carlos Tevez. We'll hear from a host of today's players. Of course, we'll hear from both managers. Uh, we'll debate and discuss where the cup final might be won or lost. And the match itself here on ESPN is commercial free from the moment the players walk out onto the pitch until the trophy has been presented. Quite a day ahead. And to kick things off, over to Mark Durden-Smith. Thank you, Ray, and good morning to you all. And welcome to our ninth floor rooftop bar here at the Hilton Hotel in Wembley, where the bar isn't actually open, which is probably a good thing. We're here all afternoon to try and keep the ball rolling, and morning, of course, until the main show kicks off at 2.30, kick off this evening at 5.15. I said we as we drink in the incredible view out there, because next to me is a man who looks uncannily like Jason McIntyre, and that's because, I almost got your name wrong, uh, that's because it is Jason McIntyre. Can we have a whoop, please, for Jason McIntyre? Thank you, McAteer. thank you. That is, uh, can we have a quick shot of our official whoopers? Uh, we are an unlikely couple uh, to be brought together, but we've been brought together by the magic of the cup. Do you still believe, Jason, in the magic of the cup? Of course I believe in the magic of the FA Cup. We've had a non-league team beat a Premier League team. We've had a championship team all 